Go as the way. Go as the way. Do you know the way? You do not know the way. If you haven't been on the internet in the last few weeks, logging on and seeing all of YouTube swarmed by a chubby, derpy looking version of Knuckles, while that scenario isn't a likely reality for anyone watching this video, there is the off chance that some of you might be scratching your heads as to why this little guy is so damn popular right now. Well, we're here to show you the way with our list of the top 10 Ugandan Knuckles facts. In at number 10, his creation. For those out of the know, Ugandan Knuckles was spawned from a review of Sonic Lost World by YouTuber Gregzilla when he featured a poorly drawn Knuckles in the video. Then, after VR Chat was released, a deviant artist by the name of Tidiest Flyer created a 3D model of Gregzilla's animation in Blender, which people then started using in VR Chat. The Ugandan origin comes from a Twitch streamer, Forsen, who would use a lot of Ugandan warrior phrases as jokes in his live stream while playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And much of those phrases are are from various Ugandan media, like the country's first action film, Who Killed Captain Alex. Up next, number nine, VR Chat's response. After multiple articles and buzz on Twitter left part of the internet questioning whether or not Ugandan Knuckles was problematic and a racist meme, VR Chat released a statement alongside its January 6 patch concerning hatred and negative behavior, but mentioned nothing about banning the avatar. The statement read, "I quote: The VR Chat community is something special. It lets people truly be themselves without fear of judgment." or hate, to connect with people from all cultures and mindsets. It is our policy to take action against individuals who engage in or promote this kind of behavior. We have taken action on a select few accounts in light of recent events. We are still in the early stages of this community and are excited to see where we go from here." End quote. That didn't stop some online communities from banning Uganda Knuckles though, like our next number. Up next, number 8, the Roblox Ban. Roblox is an MMO game creation platform that allows users to design their own games and play games made by other users. On January on 12, 2018, they announced the Ugandan Knuckles meme images were not allowed, with a statement to their developers that read, I quote, Unfortunately, the origins of the meme are based in racist jokes about the Ugandan people and the Swahili language. As such, images and references to the meme are not allowed on the Roblox website. Please refrain from uploading them. Up next in our number 7 spot, Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter. For a company that gets a lot of heat for sucking, whoever runs the Sonic Twitter account over at Sega is actually killing it, generally always with their finger on the pulse of what's what gaming and overall internet news, they were quick to react to the Ugandan Knuckles buzz, with their own repurposing of a meme that had a pretty positive message, encouraging people to donate to Ugandan charities. In at number 6, Tattoo. Okay, so someone may have gotten a Ugandan Knuckles tattoo. Images have surfaced online of what appears to be a real tattoo on someone's arm. But is it authentic? Who knows. But if it is, to the dude or lady who did it, I hope you make the most out of the joke while it lasts. Here's hoping it's temporary. Moving on to a more substantial number on our list, let's talk a little bit about one of the meme's creators. In our number 5 spot, Tadius Flyer. Since posting the link to the 3D model he crafted of Gregzilla's animation, deviant artist Tidius Flyer has actually commented on their own post, saying that the meme has gotten out of hand. The comment reads, I quote, Please do not use this to bug the users of VR chat. Its community means a lot to me and it would hurt me to see the rights of other users taken away and possibly restricted because of how out of hand it can get. But right now, VR chat has become a meme ground and I feel that I have helped to dig a grave for VR chat. Soon enough, people are going to get tired of all the memes that now pollute the servers. And with 500 people trying to just enjoy an event, they can't because there just isn't enough moderation to hold down the rampant amounts of memers. So please, think about the users that you're playing with before they're all gone. Don't let it be a second, second life. Up next, number four, Snapchat filter. Some wonderful genius managed to create a Ugandan Knuckles filter for Snapchat. This lens was designed with the Snapchat Lens Studio, which is a free platform that launched recently that allows users to build their own AR experiences for Snapchat. And now your AR experiences can involve Ugandan Knuckles. You can download it yourself by grabbing a code off of a Reddit page. Or by googling Ugandan Knuckles Snapchat filter. And just follow the instructions that pop up on multiple different sites. Enjoy. In our number 3 spot, Who Killed Captain Alex? As we mentioned earlier, many of the quotes from the action film Who Killed Captain Alex have become lines of dialogue for Ugandan Knuckles in VR chat, which have then carried over into other incarnations of the meme. One of the arguments against whether or not the meme is racist, though, is the response that the makers of the film have projected on Twitter by retweeting tweets that fight for the meme not being problematic, along with some great Ugandan Knuckles. Images too. I wanna go! He knows the way! In our number two spot, the wildlife documentary. Sort of. 
As with any popular meme, fan made videos featuring Ugandan knuckles have spread online like wildfire, from new animations to reaction vids. But unlike most other memes, Ugandan knuckles seems to have inspired a whole lot more creativity, leading to the likes of parody wildlife documentaries. In a video uploaded by channel It's Hoover, we see the Ugandan knuckles in its natural habitat. Uganda, sort of. It's more so a collection of VR chat footage that tries to explain the Ugandan knuckles origins while highlighting some of the species finer traits. From the queen, after a successful protection of the tribe and the queen, the Ugandan knuckles do the classic Ugandan popping noise enjoy. And finally, in our number one spot, the movie trailers. Speaking of videos, perhaps the greatest thing to come out of the Ugandan Knuckles meme, aside from the takeover of VR chat, is that there are multiple movie trailers now kicking around on YouTube featuring the chubby Sega character. The best of the best comes from Dolan Dark, featuring a few familiar faces, all in a parody of a horror classic, The Ring. Other trailers exist too, and for the most part have just popped Ugandan Knuckles' face on pre existing characters, like the trailers for Aiden Black Panther, and of course feature a whole lot of sound clips from VR chat. Alright, there we have it friends. Do you know the way? Show us in those comments below. If you guys want more on Uganda Knuckles, why not check out our Top 10 Sonics memes list? Or hey, maybe just swing by our channel Top 10 Gaming and check out one of our recent uploads. Make sure you guys show us some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. Catch you all in the next one.